Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you some Christmas cards I've been doing for my Etsy shop. I would love to remember you that today is Cyber Monday. You know, I have 10% off everything on my store. If you want to go visit, um, these cards are there as well as some other items that you might like to have. I don't know. I just, you know, just go visit and have a happy Cyber Monday. <laughs> Anyway, um, I have been working on this and I found out that it's not as easy as I thought it would be. But I kind of managed a little bit and tried to do the best I could. So I'm going to show you one by one, I guess, even though you already saw them here. But um, let's do a little uh, one by one card. Uh, these are already... All like with the envelope and everything they're all ready set um, this card in particular is uh, very nice the fact that I could do a nice bow I bought the ribbon at last minute it was only an 89 cent ribbon uh, which was on sale last Sunday I believe I got it in no that's Saturday and the ribbon, basically, I mean, I didn't know what to do with the card. Because it speaks for itself with the drawing that has the paper on here, you know. But uh, when I stamp the sentiment that says, May your heart be filled with the spirit of the season, I didn't know what else to do. And I really don't have any Christmas ribbons or anything. I had twine. But the twine didn't cut it for me. So I was like, nah, I need a ribbon. And I went to get this one at last minute, Saturday night. And um, this is what I did. I think it came out gorgeous. If you want to see pictures of this card, you can always go to my Etsy shop and check it out. That's one. Then the ginger, the mini ginger man here. I think from all of them, this is the one I like the most. I, with this one, it was really fun to learn how to use this little punch, which is like the snowflake little punch from Recollection. You can see here is uh, from Recollection. If this wants to focus. Oh, well. And I also used like a sticker type of this just Avery the way I did this was so funny this is just Avery sticker like labels and I just punched them out and they are they became stickers so I just put them on I just um, before I put them on obviously or stick them on I just went ahead and Use the vintage photo, the stress ink vintage photo, and ink them a little bit just to give that subtle kind of vintagey look. I also use my Merry, my new Merry Christmas uh, stamp, and I created. I really was um, crying because I didn't, I didn't, I didn't have the Tim Holtz Ginger Man or Ginger Cookie die. So I was like, oh, well, okay, whatever. I'm going to have to create my own little cookie. And I did. And, <laughs> and he became lovely. Um, I embellished with twine and some bling. And I also added a little bit of the ink around him so he looked like a little bit burned from the oven. <laughs> But it's all, all, all is the, the purpose of the ink, obviously, is to make it a little bit more vintage. I love this card particularly. I think it's one of my favorite from the series. And I, I will call this the Christmas, my first Christmas series um, that I've done. Then I have this one, which was kind of a challenge as well. Uh, I thought, like I said, I thought it would be easier to use this die, but actually it's not that easy. Maybe it's because I don't have the right paper. I don't know what it is, but it was, it was kind of hard. I did different ones. It didn't work out. And so I ended up with using 
some of this um, paper that you can distress. I ink again my my stamp. I added some fiber, and I actually put some metal eyelet here, so it looked like the ornament. And then the paper speaks for itself. Just a little ink around the edges, and voila! Also notice that some of them have round corners, so that's that's a cool thing. Um, then I was working on this one. And for some reason, my little bow got a little bit crooked there, but I can't fix it. And this one came out actually really elegant and nice as well. Now, then again, all this stuff, you know, I never have used them. This are like my first, you know, this is like my first little punch. Um, I have another few more to store punch, but that, that was, that's it. I don't have like many other. Especially small ones, I don't have one. And uh, I also, uh, for this particular card, I try uh, this punch, which is from AK, EK. It's a border punch. Actually, I didn't know how to use it. So I kind of managed a little bit, and then I created, you know, this card. Now, I love the paper. It's very distressed, very vintage again. But the border... You know, then again, it speaks for itself. Look at that. There are little pine trees, and all I did was get my peel paint distress ink, ink them around, and it looks beautiful because it looks fades and it looks like there's green around. You know, Christmas, there's the pines are green, so I thought that was really cool. As well, I created this little baroque I don't know what you want to call it like a little, I don't know. And for that, I actually used my old Fisker's Corner Edgers scissors. That was it. It worked out for me. And uh, I created this little banner here. I stamp again my Merry Christmas. My one and only Merry Christmas stamp, which is lovely, let me tell you. Because no matter where I stamp it, it looks beautiful. I had a little uh, twine, a little bow made out of twine. And then I had this plastic 25 golden numbers that are like kind of 3D and they're beautiful. I also elevated the label so it kind of looks really pretty. I really like this card as well. So as you can see, because of the little things I have, I have created such beautiful cards. And by saying this, I want to encourage people that are starting because I've noticed that I have a few of my subscribers are new in, are new doing cards or any other uh, art that they are interested in. And um, with what I, my point is, if that if you don't have enough stuff uh, to create with just a few things. You can create beautiful things. And um, just don't be afraid. Just go ahead and do your own thing. And uh, have fun. And that's the whole point. You know, having fun. And I did really have a lot of fun. I made this of uh, on on Ustream. I had a, a few uh, people watching. And they had fun as well. So, anyway, I, I invite you to visit my Ustream. You can find the link on my channel. And, um, you know, sometimes I'm there and you can check it out. The The purpose of the Ustream is to have fun. I'm, I'm not like a um, high core um, teacher or something like that. I'm just, you know, learning with the flow. And um, I hope you like my cards. And if you do, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Happy Cyber Monday, guys. Good night.